walking down memory lane to when Ginkgo Bioworks demanded equity or downstream value share from companies just for running experiments. It's funny how the tides have turned on Jason Kelly in which now I don't even really believe that he has even that strong of a case to demand this type of trade-off or compensation structure for Ginkgo Bioworks even really from the pharmaceutical companies. But it's funny how we can look at the trajectory and the history of the company and how it completely changed in the sense that they were very insistent and assertive on their right to downstream value share, but now it's pretty much completely changed and they pretty much have weakened significantly their core business structure from the beginning, as well as changing various terms of, of, um, of agreement in terms of their foundry use model for allowing customers not only to get onto the foundry, but also just being able to get lab data instead of having to discuss all of these complicated matters with regards to intellectual property and related matters. And it really goes to show about how a lot of their business, it's not, I don't think at all controversial to say that it's not sustainable in the long term, because how could they try to demand so much in terms of from their clients and other types of people that they're letting use the foundry and that they're conducting business for? when in reality, they're just running some experiments. And even there have been glass door reviews of people who have worked at Ginkgo Bioworks who said that many directed evolution enzyme projects that they worked on, if not the majority of them, just didn't work. And I mean, as someone who used to work at a ag biologicals company that was really banking on and making significant use of directed evolutions of enzyme and metabolic engineering, a lot of times, if you don't have the right precursors obviously in place and you don't have them in the in the appropriate proportion then it's just not going to work so that's not at all surprising because that type of stuff can happen at any company that really has to end up significantly relying on metabolic engineering and in the case of ginkgo bioworks it really shows about how their business terms of agreement and their deal structure and as jason will kelly would call their sales pipeline is not at all as robust inactive as he was making it seem.